And they're fine. Now we got a little bit of contact here between Aileen and... Boom! They just got stuck together and just couldn't do it. Aileen flips. And that will probably be Aileen and maybe Mendoza out of the race. Can Aileen even drive? Hey guys, this is Mike Jones and welcome to the Bahrain Grand Prix. This is the first race. Sorry it's been like a whole week since I was going to do it. I've been sick and I'm probably going to cough a couple times this video. But yeah, Orth is on your pole in the 38 right there. Then we got Brandon Tharp on his outside. We got Austin Higgins in third. WFC or whatever the team is. Yeah. Uh, Wildcat Factory or whatever. They are second, third starting out. Brian Rodriguez fourth. Nicola Sykes fifth. We got Mike Mass sixth. Unicorn seventh. Zabrowski eighth. Olaf ninth. And Jojo Carter tenth for Red Bull. Teague is 11th, then we got Samson, Harrison, Bobo, Mendoza, Mr. 2020, Yeeter, Taylor, Janella Jones, and Rutherford ran out your top 20. Remember, to get points, you got to finish in the top 20, and it is normal Formula 1, so you have to complete at least 90% of the race to get points also, but I'm pretty sure anybody is going to get a top 20 will. Also, the fastest lap of the race will be four bonus points. So that is going to be a big boost. John Laws in the back. Looks like he's having some trouble back here. And we got Aileen back there. And the drivers are about to start Driver, their engines. Start your engines! Drivers are starting their engines. Wow, this is going to be crazy. We got people all over the place. Look at the spread on Ferrari right here. We got Harrison in the 5. And then Leclerc all the way back here. <laughs> 16 that's a big spread between Ferrari which is supposed to be a midfield team we're about to go green flag racing and I've done all I could to make this realistic but literally no changes could have been able to help it I couldn't make these guys go as fast as real Formula One cars so it's gonna be a little long but we should have I think a two-stop race we're going 29 laps this is 50% so it's gonna be a long video probably an hour Hopefully not longer than that, but we're about to go green flag racing. Orth is going to go. Green flag is out. Hopefully they don't crash going into turn one and end somebody's day early. That would suck. Everybody has a chance, too, because of the fact that strategy is a big deal here. We got Higgins trying to take third from, I believe that is Rodriguez. Rodriguez fighting for it. Remember, Higgins started third. Rodriguez gets stuck to the outside and he will fall back. That's WFC second and third already. And behind them, whoops, no, not in front. Behind them, you got Sykes and Math. Then we got Unicorn up there. Zabrowski, another Renault. Renault's are both in the top eight right now. And right now, it looks like uh, those guys are the Servodyne cars, which I believe those are just a B-class. Oh, no, they're A. Servodynes are top seven right now, so it's going to be close, but it is a big difference. Remember, first place will get 50 points, and if this guy lead, gets the fastest lap, he will also get an extra four bonus points. Going to keep track of constructors, so team points and actual driver's points and see who can win the championship and all that good stuff. Rodriguez, Sykes, Math, Unicorn, Zabrowski, Olaf is in 10th, and we got Carter 11th. I believe he lost one position. Teague 12th for an AlphaTauri. I believe they're C-class. <coughs> yeah. Then we got... A racing point here we got Harrison Bobo both of the ran or uh, McLaren's 15 16 that's a little far back for their liking I believe we got a Haas and whoa Sterling started 40th place where is he at he passed all of these cars all of these cars First lap is led by Orth, so he will have the fastest lap, by the way. What the heck? Sterling started last. Oh, Tapa went wide up here. I can't keep track of everybody. There's just way too many cars going on right now. Somebody's pitting early. Leclerc is going to pit on lap one. I'm assuming that means there was some kind of issue there. Where's that Sterling guy? Oh, contact going into the 
turn. Sterling's in 23rd after one lap. He's driving for a crappy team, but to be able to do that, I have no idea how he was able to get up to 23rd. I mean, his goal is to finish the race on that team, so if he can get in the points, that would be amazing. Let's keep going up the pack here. Most of this racing will be strategy because it's, it's pretty hard to pass here, Bahrain. I mean, unless you're banging people in the back like the last guy, that last one. Let's see if Olaf can get by this Renault of Zabrowski. That'll be interesting. We got Carter in 10th, so he was able to pass somebody. I'm not sure who lost the position there. We got a Lotus here in 17th. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So I'm still thinking WFC are the team to beat at the moment, being second and third. And we got a Renault right behind them. Servodyne and WFC are definitely the best two teams. Higgins went wide, and this might allow Rodriguez behind him to make the pass. He's probably going to go for it going into this corner. Two laps complete. Your fastest lap is still your leader, by the way, with the fastest lap. And that is Orth, but Tharp is right on his tail. Ooh! Rodriguez a little slow in that turn, and that allows Sykes to come up. Sykes goes for the pass side by side, but it is not going to happen. And remember, it is tough to pass here. Sykes trying to make a move on Rodriguez, but it didn't work. That was a tough attempt there. That just could not work out, I guess. Wow. Tharp doesn't look like he's catching up to Orth any more than he was now. Anybody making any positions, any gains. I don't see anything going on here. That Sterling guy's still in 23rd somehow. I don't even know how he went from last to 23rd. I believe this is where the contact was between uh, McChicken Nugget and somebody else. <coughs> or maybe it was Taylor that had the contact because he's coming out of the pits right now. But we also have an unknown of Kanache. And there's Leclerc who pit on the first lap. So we have three cars that have pit already that we know of. They almost had some contact there. In fact, they might have. Leclerc trying to get by this unknown. And he has definitely had a race to forget already. <laughs> and when you're a C tier team, you're just hoping to get points, really. So hopefully he can get that position. As we go up, is there any crazy stuff happening right now? I don't see anybody battling for any position. Sykes was still not able to get by the other one. Tharp still trying to catch up to Orth. Orth still has the fastest lap. That's guaranteeing him four points at the moment. <coughs> Excuse me. Tharp is second. Then we got Rodriguez and Higgins. Sykes was almost to make the pass for fourth last lap, but that wasn't able to happen. Maffin sixth. Carter looks like he's gaining on Olaf up here. Will he be able to make the move on Olaf? Olaf, I believe, is doing the best out of the Mercedes. Yeah, we got Yeeter all the way back in 18th. That's not very good for Mercedes. He must be having an off start at least. Luckily, we've only completed three laps, so he's got a lot of time to catch up. Both McLarens slowly making their way up, it looks like. <coughs> As I believe they were farther back. And nobody making any moves right now. Orth is just going to continue to lead. Higgins goes a little bit wide, but he might be a little faster. so Might be okay. Nobody making any moves. Any battles going on anywhere? I just don't see nothing. It's gonna take. Oh, caution is out. 
Safety car is deployed. Oh, we got some damage on Aileen. It must have been his rear wing gone. Yikes. Something happened to him. We got Ozken back back there. I almost said Bach there. Involved, I believe. Leclerc, Kanachi, Tapa is actually behind the safety car. And racing to the caution, we got Orth. <coughs> caution is out. Now the question is, who's going to pit <coughs> during the <coughs> safety car? Oh, excuse me. <coughs> ah, I'm all right. All right, so uh, real quick, we're going to go take a look at the replay. Well, guys, it was actually in the pits, and it actually had nothing to do with that C26 car. <laughs> Ozken gets spun by McChicken Nugget, and that's what brings out the caution because it happened right in front of some people. I don't know what happened to Aileen, so we're going to take a look to see if we can see how he lost his rear wing. So they actually took the wing off after after his pit stop but he just gets slammed into by the unknown and this is on lap two Kanachi and John Laws hit him so that's why the uh, Aileen the 83 of Aileen lost the rear wing let's see if anyone's pitting any takers here's the first round of pit stops under caution nobody going right now wow nobody going at oh, oh it looks like a Lotus is pitting that's Taylor. Is he pitting or is he having issues? He must just be in the pits. So we got some takers in the back. This is definitely adding to pit strategy. And this is kind of what you expect, though. You expect the front cars to stay out to keep their positioning ahead. So it looks like Taylor and the Lotus will be the first car to pit. And he should be the first car out since he's got a big space between him and the rest. But we're going to see a battle of them coming out after that. That's for sure. Some back marker cars in their starting positions all pitting right now taking the left side tires probably all four tires yeah you expect that on a road course at least remember it's like NASCAR stuff so they actually have to fill up on gas too if they need it so first car out definitely the Lotus not even close this Haas has been in the pits for a while he's having some kind of issue Martinez another Lotus will be the next car out Schubert, Bigelow, Stover, Gardner, Sterling actually lost some time after gaining all of it. McChicken Nugget, Ozken, and we have two cars having issues in the pits. We'll go to the green flag. That should be this lap. All right, guys, we're going green this time by the 20 car blue and engine, so he's out of the race. 63 retired. Who are they? I can't remember people's names yet. Remember, it's the beginning. John Laws and Hendricks are both out of the race. The 20, I believe, was... Shoot, it's going to be hard to remember whose team they were on. I think the 63 was... Uh... Japan now, I think. I can't remember. Green flag is out, though. And this will be the start of lap 7. The 38 car still has the lead and the fastest lap. Lots of craziness. Holy cow. Almost four wide coming into the first corner. They're slowing down early just in case to make sure they can try to make the corner. Three wide here. We got Harrison getting shoved to the inside. Still three wide. And a little bit of pinball almost between that 19 of Janela Jones falling back right now. That was insane there. That start was crazy. Now they're spreading out like they normally do, and we're getting back. Rodriguez is in fourth right in front of Sykes still. So the top five have not changed. In fact, I don't even think the top, like, ten have changed. Samson made it past Teague, though. That's for 11th. Yeeter was able to get by a bunch of people, and he's about 14th or so. Bobo, we got Rutherford also made some passes going into that corner. Here comes Neymar Jr. Ooh, almost hits somebody. That was dangerous. Sorry, the 63 was for Williams. So it is Tim Pitch's teammate out. So the only way that Williams can make it is if they get a... This guy in the points, and he's not quite there yet. And the same thing for this team, which is going to be hard for me to remember the name. This is C. 
CZM. Janella Jones' teammate is out of the race, but she is in the points for now. I think 18th will give you three points, so uh, that doesn't mean much, but that's still pretty good for their team, which is not a decent team, I don't think. I think it's a D-class team. I don't think we'll see a fastest lap this time around just because it was after a yellow flag. And this this turn is a really good one to watch because you see a lot of people like go a little too fast and almost contact between Zabrowski and Unicorn. That could have been interesting there. We probably will see some contact back here. Oh! That was a crazy move by Coda Butcher. He just about killed Janella Jones, but he is able to make the move and he's going to try to pass all of these cars. That is definitely the best passing zone there. And now we got the other McLaren trying to get by him, and he will get through. Back to his original position. The person getting the most worst out of that was Janela Jones, I believe. Butcher trying to stay at least in front of one of the cars that he passed. And he's going to try to stay on the outside line. It is now going to be the inside line, and he should be good. He completes the pass. He gets by one car. That was a risky move back there, though, at the beginning of that lap. That was for sure. Who all do we got here? So, I know at least the Lotus is back. They all pit. I think Leclerc back has pit, too. So, I want to say, like, 27th-ish back have all taken their pit stops. So, yeah. These guys are in a little bit better position at the moment. Because I think you need to pit twice this thing, and they only have one pit stop left if they didn't pit too early, which they might have. Take a look at the leaders. We still got Orth just taking off, and Tharp right behind him. It's the same still. Not much battling going on here. Just everyone staying in position, staying ready to make the move when it happens. Are we going to have a faster lap change? Does not look like it. Wow, those two leaders are definitely the fastest today by far. It's not even close. As in two laps, they just took off. And that is why we're going to see them most likely have the fastest laps all day, too. Oh, caution is now out. Let's see if we can see any, any problems. It probably happened in this corner like it always does. Oh, there's some contact. I think these guys already hit the flag. So I don't know why they were driving so crazy. Not sure where the caution came out, but they are racing to the yellow. We're not gonna see any pass between any of these guys anytime soon. Let's see, anybody battling? Anyone close enough to make a position? There we are, McLaren of Mr. 2020 trying to get around Rutherford. Rutherford racing for Alfa Romeo is not able to keep the position. Now's the other McLaren of Mendoza. They're trying to work together and slowly make their moves up with each other, but I don't think they quite are making moves up. I believe they actually fell back last time because I think they were higher up. So yeah, we got Bobo back there. Butcher is in 19th. So that's good news for him. Easily it looks like Orth is going to continue to lead the race. And we haven't even completed a third of the race yet. Already two cautions. Not too much passing, but this is Bahrain. I think... What is the next track? I think it's the England Grand Prix, if I'm not mistaken. I wrote it down somewhere, actually. No, Monaco is supposed to be next. I don't know if it will because I need to figure out how to allow 42 cars to race there as it only holds like 29 or something. Anyway, we are under caution now. And I believe Ort still has the fastest lap. Yes, he does. He will until the leaders pit, that's for sure. So Orth, Tharp, Higgins, Rodriguez, Sykes are your top five. Let's take a look at the replay. Here's the caution, Yeeter! Yeets into turn one too fast and gets loose spins and for some reason they actually called a caution for that I have no idea how That's it that was the caution a good save by him and he does keep his position But that might have hurt his tires a little bit. So hopefully he can keep it going 
We'll go see if anybody pits. Here we are with the first round of leader pit stops. Oh my gosh. This is where strategy is definitely going to come into play. Are the people that pit last time, are they going to stay out? First car to stay out is the five for Ferrari. Oh yeah. Everybody who pit last pit last caution is staying out, it looks like. Not all of them, though. Okay. Wow, that is a lot of cars coming. Busy pit road. This is going to put a lot of pressure on the pit crew members because if you have an issue, this is where you're going to gain or lose the most amount of track position you can. Is Orth going to come out first? Coming in first, almost identically, all of these top like five or six people. Left sides are fair. Ooh, it looks like Higgins got a little bit faster pit crew at the second, but I don't know by much more. Oh, that was close. That was close. There's some contact. Everybody looks like they come out about the same. Except for that purple guy in the back. Taylor came out a little bit late. Might have been a little bit of battling. Oh, Mendoza gets spun, but he should be able to get back in his position just fine. We also had Schubert get knocked off the track, but that should be good. Let's go to the green flag as... Uh, We'll see how far back Orth is after that. All right, guys, we're going green this time. By safety car is going to be off. Everyone's still in the race that was here. Orth is going to be, I want to say, like, uh, ninth position or so. We got Leclerc leading him off. This is insane. Oh, my gosh. Wow, the tire differential is going to be crazy, too. We're going to see some battling now. And this will be the start of lap 12. Green flag is out. The Japan now of Bigelow going around the outside for the lead. Is he going to be able to make the pass? We got a lot of craziness in the back too. That is a pass for the lead. Is he going to be able to hold it? He gets by Leclerc pretty easily. Oh my goodness. Math was able to pass a bunch of cars, I believe, there too. As Higgins got passed and a couple others, it looks like Orth was able to get by a couple of these cars that he has better tires than, and he's also the fastest car in the race so far. So we definitely expect him to make his way up the pack. Leclerc gets back in the lead and missed it. Missed him getting back the lead. Here comes Martinez for second, though. Martinez looks like he's fast. I believe he's a C-class in a Lotus, yes, or a C-tier team or whatever. The mid pack team and the Japan now teams are D, so it's at a little bit of a disadvantage up there. But he was able to take the lead for a minute, and then you got a racing point that's a B tier team in fourth place right now. And that is Tapa. And I was wrong, Gardner is actually on the CZM, so I don't even know which car is out of the race. You know what? <clears throat> It might have been a Haas. Now that I think about it, it might have been a Haas. That was out of the race. It is. It's a Haas out of the race. So Coda Butcher in the 8 is going to have to do everything by himself. 34th right now as he's struggling, but he did have to pit. Remember that. So that's probably why he's back there. Is Orth going to be able to get by all these guys before the other cars behind him can? Remember, he's on the, he's the first car to pit under caution. We also got Tharp and Math. Math was able to make a lot of moves on turn one, but we missed it watching the battle for the lead because there's just too much going on here. Brennan Tharp trying to catch up to Orth. Orth has already passed a bunch of cars. Oh, contact. Did they hit Orth? Because that could be the difference maker in the race. You gotta make sure you stay away from that contact, because damage will hurt you badly. Tharp making it past as many cars as he can. Leclerc is still your leader, though. But remember, they, they're gonna have to pit at a different time, so the only way to help them out is if a caution comes at the right time for them. <clears throat> Gardner up there. We also got Stover. <coughs> Orth is up to 7, so he was about 11th, actually, before the green flag, I think. 
We actually got some passing in the back. Was that Martinez? That's Zabrowski. Martinez is that, or Rodriguez. Not Martinez. Rodriguez actually is falling back. Carter and just got by Zabrowski right there. Jojo Carter trying to make his moves up there right now. Caution is out. This could make a big difference. Here comes Orth for a position just to try to get as many slow cars in the, the way. And wow, this is going to be insane. Now the pit strategy gets even more crazy. Are the leaders going to stay out to stay in the lead or are they going to pit? I'm probably sure they're going to pit. But we can still watch a battle for the lead as they are really close. Is Bigelow going to jump out and make a move? I don't think so. Not right now, at least. He actually loses some time there, I believe. Tapa's fourth, so here we are going to the caution. Leclerc is your leader. Then we got Bigelow, Martinez, Tapa, and Gardner are your top five. Orth made his way up to six. Passing like half the cars that stayed out last. Oh! He could not get slowed down. He just slams into Gardner. That might hurt him the most. That's a lot of contact. Like, you can take a little bit. But uh, we'll go take a look at the replay. All right, so there was a big crash before the caution. Caution did not come out after this first incident. That's Coda Butcher and Mendoza. Hannah Williams also got spun. They get going again. And they're fine. Now we got a little bit of contact here between Aileen and Boom! They just got stuck together and just couldn't do it. Aileen flips. And that will probably be Aileen and maybe Mendoza out of the race. Can Aileen even drive? Barely. Their cars are moving. And that's probably going to be two more DNFs. Uh, we'll go to the uh, pit stops. Here we are pitting. We got Leclerc in first. Some of the leaders did stay out. Somebody just blew up in the back. Somebody just blew up. Samson was doing decent too. He just blew an engine. He's, he's not even making it to the pits. Yikes. That's going to hurt. If he could get that fixed, he might still have a chance to kind of compete. We got a Servo Dyne of Orth pitting again. Probably to fix some of that damage from hitting that car earlier. And this strategy just messed him up. Oh my goodness. Orth, definitely the fastest car today, but will he win? Have a lot of cars stay out, by the way. Bigelow is now your leader. And the fastest car on fresher tires is Tharp. And we got Map up there also. And Tharp was the only guy able to keep up with Orth right now. And if Orth is having problems in the back, then uh, that's going to be a problem. Samson stops in front of the field. That could be a problem. That could be a problem. All right, it wasn't a problem because if they stopped too long, their cars would have stalled and they would have also gotten towed to the back. So it's okay that he got going. And uh, yeah, we'll go to the green flag now. This is insane. Going green this time by the six car is out of the race. He blew an engine. The 83 is out of the race. His engine was blown and the 05, I believe, was not a McLaren actually. I don't know who the 05 is. I'm going to have to find out. Wow. Green flag is out. That was an unknown car. Here comes the other racing point to try to help his teammate, though. Is he's the only one left in the race. Is he going to be able to get some points? He's got point in the name, and he's trying to take second. Not able to make the move at the moment, though. And my question is, where's the other Servo Dyne of Orth? He was definitely the fastest car. He's still holding the fastest lap today also. He's back in 28. Jojo Carter also pit. Wow, and Zabrowski. Those guys were all up there earlier. So hopefully they can make their way up again. Sykes around 10th place right now. We got Higgins back there too. He hasn't been able to get by people as well as his teammate of Tharp was. Tharp is already up to 4th. Oh my goodness. And we got Maff and the Red Bull on his way up too on fresher tires, I believe. And then I think Sykes is too. So Sykes should be in the top 10 now. 
we, I believe we passed halfway last lap, so we are past the halfway point. It's probably already been like 30 minutes or somewhere around there. Hopefully not more than that. Because, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is going to be a long series. Good thing is it's only six races, and I'm probably only going to do a video like once or twice a week. Just because of how long they take, I might have to record them on my day off. Pass for third, Brandon Tharp. Now the question is, can Tharp get a faster lap and get those four bonus points? That would really help his team out the most. I doubt he will this lap. He needs to beat uh, 156.6. And this lap was like a two minute something, I forgot. That was, that was the green flag lap, that one doesn't even count. Battle for the lead! Bigelow's trying to get past by Martinez, and they are side by side. Martinez is now your leader. It started. Oh, Griello is out again. Another caution. Martinez is going to hold on to the lead. Math was able to get by Stover. What else do we got here? Higgins still not quite up to the top 10 yet. And where is. Orth. Orth has passed a couple cars. Yeter might have some damage. These guys are under caution right now. I'm not sure if those guys back there are involved. Most likely Smith was involved. For that Alpha Tari. Is Tharp going to be able to make a move? Is Math going to be able to make a move? Not sure. We're still racing to the caution. Although they are all single file, it doesn't quite look like it. The restarts are insane, and then they spread out because it's a road course, and that's just what happens. Wow. Math looks like he's he's setting up for a move. He's going to have to hurry because I think there's only like one turn left. He's going for it. I don't know. Oh, we got a battle for second, too, as Tharp's going for it. He goes in as deep as he can. He makes the move. So does Mav. He gets a little loose coming out, though. Mav should be able to hold the position. So is, is uh, Tharp. And caution is out. Martinez is your leader. Tharp, Bigelow, Mav, and Tapa are your top five. Wow. Let's take a look at the replay. Well, I called it. Smith was involved. So we are still green here. He gets loose and slides off the track. That's all right. He gets it going again. But the way he gets it going didn't work out too well as he comes down on Carter. Ooh, he puts him in the wall too. Yikes, that got two of the good cars that were up there involved. Another unknown involved. We got Leclerc going for the spin cycle. Who is that? That's Taylor also. Who are the two fast cars? Zabrowski and the Renault and Carter. Both involved. That might have ruined their chances. They were both definitely top five cars probably. Now they're struggling. Hopefully they can get the damage fixed. We'll see what the pit strategy is. All right. Is anyone going to pit? Martinez stays out. So, yeah, I think there's only one more round of pit stops everybody's going to have to take. As we have passed halfway. So, it is a two-stop race. Maybe one if you split it evenly, which I don't know if anybody did. Maybe Orth did. Maybe that's why he pit under caution. Yeah, we got the two involved in the wreck. Looks like they're pitting. So, that's it. Just Carter and Zabrowski are the only ones pitting. Somebody might have had an issue right here as all these cars just decided to go this way. That was weird. I don't know why they did that. And then we got Smith just coming back and all these other guys pit earlier. So we'll go to the green flag. Well, guys, we're going green flag this time. Bye. And... It looks like the 18 car, which is that racing point that was smoking, is finally called it quits out of the race. Everybody else still involved, so his engine finally quit. They were not able to fix it. We are about to have a 10-lap shootout, which will probably be split up by a caution, just like everything else has been. 
and Martinez is your leader, and we probably still have pit stops, so strategy's still a thing. Green flag is out. Wow, that was a good start for Martinez. Nobody able to get alongside him. Math going for third right from the start. Oh, here comes Stark for the lead. Oh, is he able to sneak it in? Not quite. Bigelow is going to battle with Math trying to keep the position, and he does somehow defend it, it looks like. Maybe not quite. It's not over. It's not over. Math was faster coming out of that corner, but we got a battle going in for this corner now. Is Tharp able to make the move? I don't know. Is Map able to hold on? I don't know. Too much is going on right now. Martinez is trying to hold on to the lead. He knows this is his chance. And Tharp knows it's his chance to get that clean air and get that fastest lap if he can take it. Map able to make the move also. Tafa still holds on to fifth. Oh! Rodriguez is able to get by Unicorn right there, and that is a big deal right there. Unicorn's team has that guaranteed four points right now of Orth having the fastest lap. <coughs> Higgins dropped back, it looks like, this lap, and I don't know. Unicorn might be able to hold on. I don't know where this is quite for, but I want to say it's about 12th place or so. And Unicorn is able to hold on to the position somehow. Wow, I have no idea. I believe that's Morgan Unicorn, correct? Yes. Rodriguez tries to go forward again, and he does. Wow, lots of battling going on between those guys. Both of them are decent cars. In fact, Servodyne is a grade A car, while Granos are Bs, but showing her in her place right now. Or if not able to make any move. As that contact from earlier might have messed him up, Carter, even though he was involved in caution, he's able to pass all of these cars. Yet Zabrowski might have have a little bit too much damage from being in that crash earlier. He's going to have to hope for other people to have issues or a great strategy call to help him out. But right now, Renault's relying on Rodriguez, who's made his way into 10th place. Tharp is still your leader and he will not run a faster lap unless he pits for tires it looks like so I don't think anybody is gonna get the fastest lap but it is possible to get it it's just not probable math looking to make a move on the Lotus of Martinez now we're seeing the higher up teams push it to the limits Is Math going to be able to make the move, though? That is the question. Right now, he is not quite able to make the move. Bigelow has fallen back to fourth. Sykes has just been right outside the top five, like, the entire race. No matter what the pit strategy is, Sykes has just been right in the top ten or right behind the top ten. Very consistent. We're definitely going to expect that car to finish in the points. It's a Zakari car. Rodriguez also almost in the same boat. And then we got Unicorn up there and Higgins just behind them. Higgins started better and then just had some bad luck on some restarts. So I wonder if he'll be able to make his way up at all. There's another Zakari just outside the points right there. And Orth still not quite in the points, but he does have that four bonus points for leading the fastest or getting the fastest lap. Carter trying to make it by Yeeter. These are two great A teams. Both of them have damage today too, so it's expected them to have to be struggling slightly. Oh, big wreck. That's probably a caution. And he's going to use that to his advantage to take a pass. Are we under caution? Yes, we are. So caution is out. A little bit of contact up here. Are the leaders still racing? Tharp is... I'm not sure if Map still is racing or not. I can't tell if these guys are, are racing still or not. That happened just right in front. I, I want to say the only car that wasn't able to hit it was Tharp, so I'm pretty sure we're under caution. Yeah, we're definitely under caution. Okay, so we'll go take a look at the replay. It looks like it will be Tharp. Math, 
Martinez, Bigelow, and Tapa will be your top five. We'll take a look at the replay. Once again, another Alphatari bringing out the caution. I don't know if it was his fault. Janela Jones dive bombs it in and takes out both of them. That brings out the caution. Ooh, we have a... Bobo gets a little bit of contact involved too. But I think that's it. I think they get going after that. They actually didn't get connected and run into the wall like everybody else always does. And Janela Jones has to pit. That might have actually helped strategy-wise pitting before the caution. But I think they're closed, so I don't know if she will get penalized or not. But we'll go see if anybody else is. All right, first round of pit stops. I think everybody has enough fuel to make it. There's no way they'd be staying out right now. Yeah, everybody must have enough fuel to make it. The question is tires. But I don't think tires are worth it. Track position is very important. The only person pitting is Butcher. Wow. And he might as well put on some fresh, fresh... Uh, tires today what are they Pirelli's or something when it comes to this Firestones right I can't remember they're <laughs> I think they're Firestones anyway he's gonna try to put on some fresh ones we'll go to the green flag oh yeah Janela Jones also lost the rear wing but yeah let's go to the green flag going green this time bye it's been an hour and 14 minutes at least uh, race time even though I skipped a lot of cautions and stuff we're going green though and pace car is off. Everybody's still in the race that has been in it. So we still only have those six cars out. And most likely Orth is going to hold on to the fastest lap since nobody had to pit. That should make it interesting. I think I'm going to change it so they don't need to pit for gas anymore. So that faster laps can happen at the end when they have less fuel. So green flag is out. Obviously, this is my first time, so we're uh, still learning a little bit. At least when it comes to F1 and this style. We got Stover making a move. We also got Sykes trying to make a move by McChicken Nugget. Can McChicken Nugget get a top 10? That'd be interesting. It looks like Tharp is definitely going to be the car to beat today. If he has enough fuel to make it. I don't know. We don't know if they actually have enough. Imagine if he has to pit right at the end. Wow, a little bit of contact. Unicorn needs to do as much as she can to help her teammate. Teammate is in 21st, one more position should be able, to, oh, maybe fell back a little bit, maybe two more positions to make the points. Neymar Jr. is in the points right now. Bobo looking to make a move. Higgins trying not to get passed on the outside by uh, Mr. 2020. Got Olaf up there also. Chicken Nugget and <coughs> Unicorn still battling side by side. And finally McChicken Nugget looks like he'll be able to take the move. And it's definitely Math versus Tharp. It's WFC versus Red Bull Wildcat versus Red Bull. Who is going to take the cake today? It looks like strategy messed up Orth, who is definitely going to probably keep the fastest lap today. And we only got, what, what is that, four laps to go at the line now? Four laps to go. Tharp is still your leader. And Orth definitely has the fastest lap. I don't think anything anybody is going to challenge that today. Ooh, Olaf trying to make a position here. Is that Rodriguez? That is Rodriguez. That is for 10th. That's a couple points. So that's a pretty good move right there. And he does it. Olaf trying to make his way up there. Wow, Higgins still hanging around 13th. His car has obviously been awful in traffic, even though he had a good qualifying position. He's just been doing D, just not good on restarts. And then after they get going, he's been fine. But restarts have just not been his bread and butter today, that's for sure. 
So we got Teague Alfaturi just outside of the top 10. We got Carter just outside. He was actually able to get by Orth, who has struggled tremendously in traffic since he had to do that unscheduled pit stop with a little bit of front end damage. That might have slowed him up too much. And he might not even finish in the points. Those four bonus points are going to help his team. But his championship standings are not looking good if he can't get up there. He's going to need a miracle. Definitely going to need a miracle. The question is, is Tharp faster than Maff or is Maff catching up? Because if Maff is catching up, we might have a photo. And probably not a photo finish. It's Formula One. That's like not ever going to happen. But we might have a close finish. We're going to see if Math is actually... He was 1.2 seconds back last lap. With three laps to go at the line, how many seconds is he back now? 0 0.9, so he caught up three tenths of a second. That is probably enough to make a good enough move. He's right on the rear of Tharp. He might be faster. <laughs> we might see a Red Bull victory. Are we going to see anybody make a move? Oh, big slam. Oh, my gosh. McChicken Nugget. That's like the second time McChicken Nugget was involved. A slam like that. And that might have messed up Rodriguez enough for Chicken Nugget to try to make a move. Chicken Nugget got sandwiched. Caution is out. That might end the race. That might end the race under caution. This might be the end. This might be the end. This might be the last lap. Does Mav have what it takes? I don't think he does. He doesn't have enough time. Tharp has been better in these last few corners, it looks like. And it looks like Brandon Tharp is probably going to bring Wildcat Factory their uh, first victory. But we will see Mav on the podium. And most likely Martinez. A podium is amazing for Team Lotus. That is for sure. So if Martinez can hold off third, that would be great news for him. Come on. What are we going to have here? And Brandon Tharp still leading them off. And it will be him to the line. And we'll have two laps to go, which means, yes, we will end under yellow. <laughs> I don't think we'll have a one-lap shootout. So this should bring Brandon Tharp the lead if he has enough gas to make it under caution. Mike Maff should get a podium here. And Martinez should also get a podium here. Great race for these other guys. We're going to take a look at that replay to see what brought out the caution. Though. Well, it looks like something happened to Neymar Jr. Going into this corner, he went too low and got loose. Oh, a couple cars did. A little bit of contact. They're still green flag racing right now, by the way. Neymar's trying to get to the pits. Oh, my gosh. He is not happy with that other guy. Oh, my goodness. They are not friends. That is for sure. Pierce and Neymar Jr. not happy with each other for sure on that. Luckily, Pierce was able to stay in front of a couple cars. And Neymar trying to get to the pits. That might have ended his race hopes for sure. I don't know what happened to Butcher or Jones, but they're off the pace. I don't know if they had unscheduled pit stops or if they're just slow. Or if they got spun, I don't know. Let's watch the victory lap, I guess. The so white flag is out, and we actually had two people have issues. Rodriguez and Mr. 2020, both not able to make it the whole way. They have to pit. Wow, that just killed them. They were both going to be in the points, too, I believe. Yeah, Rodriguez was in the top, like, 20. And now he has to sit there and just wait for everybody. That hurts. But that means Tharp should ought to win it. Let's go see the last lap. Here we are. Everybody is able to make it. I don't think anybody ran out of gas. Excuse me. Except for uh, the 14 called it quits. <coughs> that was Neymar, I believe. And Brandon Tharp is going to be your first winner. He's going to win the Bahrain Grand Prix. That was a long race, guys. Holy cow. Mike Maff second. And Martinez gives Lotus a podium. That is a C-tier team on the podium. Great race for him. Bigelow gets a fourth place finish. Racing for Japan now, which is D-tier. 
And Tapa with a top five finish. That's great for them. Wow, Brad Stover should not have finished in the top ten, and he did. That is an F-tier team. Sykes seventh, then we got Unicorn eighth, Durrani ninth, and Olaf tenth. McChicken Nugget eleventh, twelfth goes to Higgins. So still, Wildcat still looking decent with two points finishes. Harrison, then we got Bobo, we got Ozkin, and Taylor and Rutherford, both Alphataris in the podium, or points. Carter is bringing both Red Bulls in the points. Orth does get it, and I believe he does have the fastest lap, so that will give him two points for a ninth place finish, plus four. So that will give him six points today. He's going to have a lot of work to do still. And Teague will be the last car. Yeeter misses out on the points by one position. And everybody else does not get anything. Yikes. Well, we're going to have to add up the points. And then I'll see you guys back. All right, guys. Here is your points. And uh, you got the same thing as the way they finished. We got Tharp, Math, all this. And it should be ranked except for I did screw up a little bit. Orth is actually 16th, so he is a before these two because he did lead the uh, fastest lap. So he actually got four bonus points, and then he got the two point points for that. So he's actually tied for 16th with Taylor right now. But other than that, that is the standings for there. And then you go to this side, and you got the constructors. We got Wildcat first with 64 points. And they are Brandon Tharp up here and Austin Higgins are on that team. Then we got Red Bull, which is Mike Math, and, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, where's the other guy? It's right here somewhere, Jojo Carter. Carter should have finished better than that, he had some bad luck. Lotus is actually third, are you kidding me? That's uh, Martinez and Taylor, wow, I can't believe they're third place. Zakari is fourth. And I honestly don't remember who's on Zakari. Uh, let's see. Zakari is the 80 and 81. So that is Bobo and Sykes. Wow, they're actually pretty close there. And then fifth is Japan now, which is surprising. We got Bigelow and I think the 37. Where's the 37 at? Did he just do it by himself? Yeah, he did it by himself. Okay. Racing Point also did it by himself, which is Tapa, because his teammate was out of the race. His teammate blew the engine. Servodyne is Orth, and... Man, let's see if I can remember who the other one is. Unicorn, I believe. Yeah, it's Unicorn. And that puts them 7th. C26 somehow finished up there, and that is just Brad Stover by himself. Then we got Airbus in ninth, and that is, I believe, Durrani. And Schuberg, I think? I don't know. It might just be Durrani by himself. Is Schuberg on his team? I don't know, but it's Durrani that did it. Mercedes is 18 points. Olaf did it by himself because right outside Yeeter just barely missed it right there. And then... Kazu has probably one car, Ferrari, and yeah, Alphatari has one. Everybody else didn't make any points. That's surprising that all these guys made points. And Wildcat Factory, way ahead, 64 points. That is a pretty big lead. And uh, he shoot, they're going to be way ahead now. I guess I should write, I should, I'm going to edit these and make them longer so that we can see, like, who's on what team here or what team they're on here or something so that you can actually look back and forth and see who's on what team and I'll also make it so it should show wins and maybe podiums and stuff like that but anyway guys if you did enjoy this video please click the like button if you're in it please click the like button and uh, cl click the like button no matter what because this took a lot of effort to make and time it took me an hour to record it and then an hour just to make the points so far. And then it's probably going to take another hour to do everything else. So big video. I appreciate the support. I'm still like six. So got it done anyways. And we'll see you guys next time.